Right, we're recording. Morning, everybody. Uh, that sounds a bit calmy, doesn't it? Uh, okay, I'm... you've seen it before, so you know what you're looking at. Why am I showing you the garden? Right, okay, good question. Basically, because I've got nothing better to do in my life than stand there showing you lot how I've back garden. No. No, no, no. Not the real reason at all. That's the reason. Yeah. yeah I can't see what. So, alright then. I can see things. I was thinking, what's that? And, uh it be you'd be right. What is it? It is. It's a G Whip backpacker's antenna. I can hear you. It looks nothing like an antenna. Not yet, it won't. But believe me, when it's put up, when it's put up in the garden, all those bits will go together. And you will see. Right, what we've got, we've got they're the glass fibre poles. There's six of them, there's three there, and three there, and they slot together. Right, the the actual antenna is a dipole. Uh, these two at the end are the extensions, you've got to measure them out to an exact measurement, but it gives you the measurements. And then you've got the middle sections. Those down there are the tuning coils, 80, 40 and 20, you can buy more, but that's all we've got at the minute. And that's the carry tube that goes in, and that's the dipole sensor. So, and again, three more poles. Uh, and the bag. So that's it. So it looks like in bits, oh hang on, there's some more yet. Uh, what we have here? My coffee, but never mind. Guy ropes, pegs. So again, guy ropes, pegs, guy ropes. Uh, numerous pegs, tape measure for measuring it out because it's got to be exact. Two plates that go on. Uh, grounding spike to put it in. And some more coax. Don't need that coax, it just happens to be there. And the hammer for putting it in, and the screwdriver and adjustable spanner. And the carabiner. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, nothing else now. Uh, got to put it together. And, and get it all sorted out. So we're going to put it together. Self and Anne, and then we're going to put it up and we'll show it you it up. What I will do is I will make one taking it down, and you can see the respective parts put together. Like I say, that's it, and that's where it's going. So I might as well get started. So for now. I'll see, I'll speak to you, I'll, I'll see you in part two. Back again, part two, that's the dipole set up, as you can see. Uh, that's the centre, let's see if we can zoom in. Yes, we can. That's the dipole centre you're looking at. Uh, so at the top, U-bolts, U-bolts at the bottom. That's basically, it. zoom back out. Uh, has a first section. As the and the one we've got on at this at the minute is for. Oh, you can see that. No, we can for 20 meters. You got the top section. That's the second section and the third section. That that has got to be set to a certain length. And there's two, there's another set of ends which are longer ones, which again different bands. But when you buy it. These list of what's of lengths that they've got to be. 
Uh, when I get it home, I put it on my antenna analyzer and I antenna analyzed it and got it a bit better. Not much better, but didn't, or I should say it doesn't need much, didn't need much doing to it, but it's there. And again, there's the other one at the other end. Uh, we had to work all the measurements out and did it all. Uh, that's the card that we did, that we put them on. You see them and laminated it and laminated it so we've got all the what's it that's that's the box it's in that's the what's it with the guy ropes off and that's how he's doing the guy ropes to our cozy or LMD uh, We'll take you out now and show you what's, go one, what's going on in the garden. Right, I showed you where it was going. Right, so I'll show you what we've got out here now. So you'll be able to see it. Right, that's the mast. Obviously, it wants the top sections putting up with the dipole putting on it. Uh, as you can see, she put the put the guy lines out on the spreaders. Oh, that'll make it a bit easier for you to see on the spreaders. Go down, that's a pole. As you see, that one's not done yet, but that's what it looks like without the guy lines on it. And you go down, that's the ground spike driven into the ground, and that's the bottom section of the pole which you put in. I find it easy doing it like that. Uh, you might not. And that just pulls in and out of the bottom of the ground spike. Uh, well, then we, what else do we do? I don't know if you can see that. I can't. Where is it? Yeah? No, it's, uh, it'd be alright there. I've done it now. Too late. Uh, be alright. Um, yeah, uh, that's two echoes here all on the end. See these one peg there? Oh, obviously it's going to need putting in properly, but that's just got to go. The other peg is, there's the scent, there's the water again. Um, no. Uh, it was a bit windy yesterday, like Anne says. I've actually had a compass out. Uh, that way is north. Turn right round through 180 degrees. And that way is south, obviously. That towards that post is west. And that over there is east, so I've got a pretty good idea for when it's come, to come and setting up the antenna for directional, direction it. Uh, that's just something I've done. There you go, that's, that's the other peg, peg number two. And again, basically try to keep them at 90 degrees to each other. Didn't always work, but there you go. That's peg number three. Uh, so just thrown in the ground at the minute. Just hold them there. Uh, and that's peg number four. That's peg number four. That's going to be for the connect the lead to to the to the antenna to tether it. The tethering lead. Uh, we'll have a look at them. And all they do, as you can see, all they do. You just clip through the holes, that's it, and she spreads them out. And that's that. So that's like I say, that is that. Um, the plan was going to show, show you filming actually putting it up, but uh, I don't really see the point. We will do another one when it comes to taking it down, where we'll just film it taking it down, because again, 
you've no need to see it taking a bits because you've seen it put together. <coughs> I'll just show you taking it down and obviously putting it up reverse order. Uh, so I'm going to go again in the part two. Let's hope it stays dry and let's hope the wind stays off, shall we? Nothing worse than putting it up in wind, it gets a bit, makes life a bit hard. Again, that's the back as you can see. Now empty. And you can put it on your back. You can carry it on your back, I have done. So that's it. Um, I don't like it, hello. Right, do you want to take the top section? We'll put the top section on. Do you want to take the top section down? Or do the film or you can do the filming. And I'll just put it. And I'll just put the top we'll just put the slip the top section on. The coax for me. Yeah, that's the coax. As you can see I'm Go on. I'm feeding the coax out, out, out to her. Uh, she's gonna put it on top and then it'll be ready to be lifted up. Uh Right, I'm going to go to watch. Hang on! Let's show you what happens. Quickly run down the garden. I won't get a plane. Anyway, right. So I'm already on the top section. Other way. Other way. No, that's the right way, sorry. Being smart, you see. Right. And well, it actually does. Just literally. You can see it, my hand's not very steady. Oh, you've got to print together, I can't do it. Right, I can't come here. Down to do it. Come here. Come here. I'm all dizzy. Right. Oh, good. I'm going to go right, I've got the. Oh, hang on a minute, I've got it stuck in my foot. For sake. No need to swear. I didn't, I said, goodness sake. There's no need for it. I said, goodness sake. You didn't, you're not, you're not having the cute hard. Alright. I've got my foot Don't stuck. Don't you talk in the future. If you're going to start swearing. I didn't swear, I've got my foot stuck. Go to, you can go and join the Brinnington Scum if you want. If you want to hang on, that. I can't get the right, right, right. Wait a right. minute, one minute, that's it. That's it. Oh, so it wasn't me then? No, there's actually a bit of a problem. So, if you, if you, you can turn it off now. I'll turn it off. Oh. I've got to turn it off, I'm moving. Right, so that's it. I've got a bit of a problem, need to watch it. To watch it. I've never used that on video. <laughs> Talking to the camera. No good, that means...
Right, we're back on two metres. Uh, I'm just USA, as you can tell. On 20 metres. Uh, that's the, the junior unit that we're using. Seen it before. YT100, LGT, L, LDG, YT100, especially made for, uh, excuse me, the 857 um, and the D. Very good. Uh, there's a power supply. Uh, it's a switch, switch mode power supply. The uh, toolbox. Radio box. You've seen this. You know what that is? That's the box the, the radio goes in. It gets packed away. You're all seen in there. You can see we put in some more coax. And mag mounts there for a change. That's two ECO to LMD, right. Okay, we put we put it up. Uh, and it's obviously working. We walk you down the coax. There's the coax. There's that one is the two metre one, and that one, and the one behind it. This one here is the HF. And that, as you can see, goes all the way down. Down and down. Uh, I'd love to go wandering the coax. Mate, that's the only wants it to see further down the coax, doesn't it? There it is. And there's the antenna. You can see the sun's come out. Uh, take you to one. It's the pegs. That's, that's it pegged out. It looks like pegged out. That's one. As you can see, yeah, it's a bit wonky, but it needs tweaking. We'll tweak it over the next couple of days. Get it dead straight. Uh, there's the. There's the other. The, There's the other peg. Guys, etc. I'll look at it from another angle. We're actually sorry about this guy. Right. It's pointing roughly west. I'm standing west of it, so it's pointing roughly west. Uh, that's where we get all the good contacts. We do get all the good contacts. Got states, Brazil, all sorts. Uh, back out of the, the trees. That's uh, the other guy line. One in the middle, one at the top. Uh, <coughs> there's one. Uh, three poles up. One, two, three. And you've got three more poles. Or two more poles. And another one. I get it, there it is, that's two poles up. And then, top of the top pole, you've got the, the, the dipole. Uh, and it just literally pushes together, they're very clever. Uh, that's the ground spike. Uh, I'm not do, we didn't show you putting it up because you didn't need to see it. What we'll do, I'll make one of taking it down. When it comes to taking it down, and obviously you put it up in reverse. But that's it. That's a backpack is antenna up and running. Uh, last thing to show you. Is this? This is a new idea addition. After talking to somebody, it's a new addition. This is a tether 
at the top of the dipole. It goes to the centre section of the dipole, it's a tether to keep it, stop it flying about and hopefully keep it in position. Uh, that's what that is. Uh, I'm kind of hoping it works. Uh, somebody suggested I put a tether on it. Uh, so there you go, it's got a tether on it. Right, there's the shock antennas. You can see them, HF, VHF and 4 metres there. Uh, then that one on the washing line is a 2 metres GP6. So as you can see, Jonah somewhere our house looks a bit like Winter Hill. We have had two other antennas up in the garden. We've, uh, we've had a sum total of four up at some stage. Uh, you've seen the one on the mag mount. Uh, we've had that up. So, and we've had a Watson antenna up. Oh, we've had all sorts. We've had actually had to look at like Winter Hill. But that's now, I still have stayed up for the. Where is it? I've lost it. <laughs> no, I haven't. It's there, uh, I think. That's down to up for the summer. Uh, it comes probably down about October ish, beginning of October, end of September. But it will stay up. As you can see, it needs tweaking, which it probably does. It's like there's a slight curvature in the mass, but we can put that right. Like I say, we can tweak it. Uh, there's our fountain, by the way. It's all a fountain. But yeah, that's it. Backpackers. Uh, Dipole. So there you go. Next one we do, we'll be doing taking it down. Part three, taking it down. Enjoy your Easter. Take care. Right. I don't know how much battery we've got left. There's a follow up for what I did outside. <clears throat> right. There's a radio amp. There's an organisation called Raynet. It's meant to be the radio amateurs when we went with the emergency service back up. Oh. Well, what can I say? Stop playing politics and get on with what you're meant to do. What's this box in front of you? Well, what I'm going to say to members of Rainer is how many of you got this? How many of you, if Rainer got on the phone and said, I need you to set up a V8. We'll provide the power to the jetty. How many of you could... We need you to go into a field with a table and set up a VHF and HF station. This is for you, Mr Crichton, if you're watching this, because I know you can't, OK? For the rest of you that are dealing with politics, OK? Question, if that's what they said to you, there's a national emergency, we need you to set up in a field, could you do it? Well, I'm telling you, you probably can't. I can, with this box. The... The thing on top of this is multiband VHF, uh, a multiband HF antenna. You've seen it, and also in there is a VHF and UHF antenna as well. So that's the antenna, antenna uh, box. That's all it is—a box. Right. What we have in there is a radio, an 857, power leads, power pack, and a mag mount and a few other bits. All in that box. Take about five minutes to set up. I'm not going to take everything out. You've all seen the radio. Uh, go on then, I might as well. Power lead. Plug to power pack. Radio and tuner. So there's the radio and tuner. There's the power lead. There's the power lead to the power pack, the PSU. There's the PSU. So what we've got there is PSU lead, 
lead for the PS power to PSU, radio and tuner. In the box we have various bits in there. Uh, that's also for the antenna as well. We also have in there a I forgot what it's called, it's gone. For test antenna analyzer. All in that little box. So there we are. Uh, 857 red, 8857. Could go anywhere in the country if Rain asked me to. Well, <laughs> the answer would be actually be no. Um, I wouldn't. I'd be telling you to get on your bikes. Uh, but my question is. To all you high for lies, all you political nobodies in Raynet who forgot what Raynet is all about, could how many of your members could do that? A drop of hat set up a station in the middle of nowhere, and all they need is 